Hey guys, how's it going? It's Eggy Han from the crew, and we're playing some CW. And um, today, uh, I got a deck profile video. That's right. Um, my new and updated main deck. Um, I'm gonna show it off to you guys. Um, I'm gonna go into depth on why I have every card that I do, and I'm gonna go into some of the combos that I uh, use uh, amongst the cards. So, um, my deck is Useless Swamp, Cornfield, Sandy Lands, and Nice Lands. And my hero is Prismo. If you have no matching landscapes, your creatures have plus one defense. Pretty useful if you don't ask, uh, pretty useful if you ask me. So we're gonna set those aside right now. Alrighty, so let's get on with the rainbow cards. So, for the, oh by the way, I have my main deck in uh, the Adventure Time Card Wars Jake's Leaves. Mm-hmm. It's a nice sip of water there. So we're gonna start off Witch Slap uh, for two actions. I like this a lot. Target opponent discards down to five cards and then takes one damage for each discarded this way. A lot of the crew likes to play bulky hand decks, so this is super useful. Cross Pollination. I already told you guys I love this card. Each of your cornfield creatures has plus one attack for this turn for each different landscape type you control. So in my case, that's plus four attack to each of my cornfield creatures in play right now. Ring of Damage. Pretty simple card. Each of your creatures have plus two attack this turn. Pretty useful card for late game if you just want to get your opponent, you know, one and done. Nice and quick. You know what I mean? Six, yeah. There we go. Yeah, so Ring of Damage. Let's see. Swap any amount of damage between two creatures you control. Friendship Bracelet. I'll uh, get into why I use that in a little bit. Snake Eye Ring. Return a random useless swamp creature from your discard pile to your hand. I only have four useless swamp creatures in this deck, so Snake Eye Ring is really important for me if I just want to cycle those four. Ogre Gas. Reveal the top three cards of your deck, put one of them on the bottom of your deck, and discard the rest. This is really good to get um, the useless cards out of the way late game so I can start cycling my combos. Three black hole pendants. Really simple card. Target creature has plus X attack this turn where X is the number of different landscape types you control. So in my case, that is four. Ah, bit of water. It's hot out here in New York. Yeah, so three of those. And then last but not least, we have two green candies. Uh, pretty generic card, but also can be used... Um, and I'll let you guys know how I use this card in a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so now on to the uh, Useless Swamp portion of my deck. I really don't use a lot of Useless Swamp cards. I use a whopping four cards in total. But um, it's uh, an important four cards. So we have... Hold on, let me get rid of this glare right quick like that. Okay, so start off with we have Orange Slimy. You know, if you control three or more different landscapes, which I do, deal three damage to your opponent when it enters play. You know, pretty nice, pretty nice, but pretty simple at the same time. Red Eiling, super useful card. Uh, return a card with a cost of zero from your discard pile to your hand. That can be used with a bunch of my rainbows. <laughs> Lieutenant Mushroom. Really like this card. When Lieutenant Mushroom leaves play during an opponent's turn, that opponent discards three cards. So basically... Um, if the opponent kills Lieutenant Mushroom on during their fight phase, or if um, the opponent, I don't know, uses a spell to kill him, however you want to, basically. Raise the Dead, pretty self-explanatory. Put a creature with a cost two or less from your discard pile to your hands. So that's basically every card I have, which is two or less, nothing more than two. I don't have any cardboard mansions or anything like that. Um, so yeah, 
pretty small stack of useless swamp, but pretty useful stack of useless swamp. So now we're gonna go on to the nice lands. Okay, so now onto the nice lands cards. We're gonna start off with a Pentade. Heal exactly five damage from target creature, no more, no less, exactly five. We're gonna have two of those right quick because we do have, like especially with Primo, we have some pretty high defense creatures um, that can take more than five, so we should be able to heal five. Music Mallard, just recently added this into my deck. Draw a card, if Music Mallard has four, five or more damage on it, draw an additional card. This is really useful so I can start cycling my cards late game and getting my combos going. So I got two Music Mallards. Two Furious Roosters. I'm sure you guys are um, aware with the Furious cards. Furious Rooster has plus one attack for every damage on it. That's where the green candies come into play. Rainbow Ibat, super nice card. At the start of your turn, you heal one hit point for each different landscape type you control. That's four HP right there. And it's a one action, one four. Not too shabby. And last but not least, Auto Plucker. Heal or deal one damage to creature in this lane. So, obviously, as you guys can tell by the art of the card as well, this card is really good with the Furious cards because you can purposefully deal damage to your creatures but if you're not playing a furious card then you can also just heal damage from your creatures pretty generic at the same time but also pretty useful so this this card is a a really nice double purpose so that's why i keep this guy in here instead of um the big pe uh, hen house because the big hen house you can like literally only use it for furious cards so let's get on to the sandy land on to the Sandylands cards, uh, we're going to start off with uh, two Sand Jackals. While Sand Jackal is on a nice land landscape, when it defeats an opposing creature, heal 3 HP. Pretty big, pretty nice. Portal to Nowhere. This card is absolutely deadly. Move one of your opponent's creatures to an adjacent empty lane. So let's say... You're sitting there with a rebounding zebra corn, right? For attack. Then you drop cross pollination on that, you know, um, that's eight attack. Then you drop like a black hole pendant. That's literally like what? No, 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 12 attack. And then you portal to nowhere, right? You take the creature and you move the opponent's creature out of the way. And you hit your opponent with 12 straight to their character, like straight to their main health. That is a wild, deadly, super aggressive attack. So that's why I have Portal to Nowhere. I would like my third copy of Portal to Nowhere, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, pretty classic, <laughs> Diamond Dan. Uh, we actually have a, uh, a song for this up in the CW crew. You know, it's uh, Diamond Dan to the tune of Ocean Man. Uh, pretty fire. So Diamond Dan, you know, it, it's close to all of our hearts. Um, but still pretty classic, pretty useful card. When Diamond Dan leaves play from a nice land landscape, return it to its owner's hand. So I uh, just keep on cycling those Diamond Dans, and you'll have a nice one action 2-2 two -two to keep you alive. You know, keep your lanes blocked. And then Sandwich. I like Sandwich because uh, um, you can, obviously, you can use Sandwich with Fummy. You can gain an extra action this turn, and then you can drop Sandwich, and you can drop other creatures too and you can deal as much hp as you want because you know you guys can read that one sandwich or another creature enters play deal one damage to your opponent and plus at the same time not only is the sandwich have a really good um entry effect it also is a super nice wall 12 defense pretty big so you can keep those lanes blocked and out of that high damage creatures of your opponents um you guys already saw fummy pretty straightforward and then, you guys already know, the Golden Axe Stomp. Whenever an opponent draws a card, deal one damage to that player. Super simple, but at the same time, super aggressive. Alright, let's get on to the corn cards. On to the corn cards. And by the way, I uh, closed the cabinet door, like my little thing, um, so we can get the light going again. Because uh, I like the light better, actually. So, uh, one great butt. I saw Patrick was also using this card and I tossed it in. 
Play only if you haven't played a, a cornfield card this turn. Deal five damage to a target creature. Pretty useful. Get those creatures out of the way. Get them killed. So then you can stack up attack and then hit your opponent straight to their main. Uh, Gold Ninja. When Gold Ninja enters play, deal one damage to target creature for each different landscape type you control. So that's, again, four damage straight to a character just off of the entrance effect. Not even in the fight phase. You can get kill your opponent's creatures, or at least weaken them, get them out of the way as quick as possible, so you can start doing damage to those unblocked lanes. Fancy Zebra Corn. Huge wall. Pretty simple, but pretty nice. One defense for each different landscape type you control. So, it becomes a one action, two eight, which is crazy. I got two of those. And I have two rebounding zebra corns plus one attack for each different landscape type you control. So it becomes a one action four six. And these were the cards that I'm talking about with the cross pollination and the portal to nowhere. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get into those in a little bit. I'm going to do some combos. Yeah, so um, pretty short stack, but uh, again, pretty important stack of corn, uh, corn cards. You know, pretty useful, pretty aggressive. My corn... Uh, is composed of very aggressive cards, as you can see in the Great Button, the Gold Ninja, and also the Rebounding Zebra Corns. Um, but yeah, so now let's get on to the combos of my deck. All right, so before I start the combo portion of the deck profile, I'm gonna say this, my deck isn't all about super heavy combos. My deck is only comprised of about three main combos that you can do. And the rest of the cards are all just super aggressive that you just need to keep on cycling. Um, but I know Scott's deck is super um, like strategic and he's got like a bunch of different like interlocking combos. I'm really not about that. I'm more of a simple just get in there and get out kind of guy. But for the combos that I do have, they are pretty cool. So this is my main combo. Rebounding Zebra Corn. Plus one attack for each different landscape type you control. So it's a one, four, six. Black hole pendant adds four attack. So it becomes a one action, eight, six. Then, and obviously, um, you can't necessarily play all these unless you use a fummy, maybe if you flip a fummy. And you get uh, two actions again. But actually, no, 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 because you need it. Or maybe if you play a Fummy the turn prior to the turn, you're going to use the combo. Just, you know, set yourself up. And you have three actions this turn. Then you can drop the rebounding. And you can drop the black hole because it's zero. And then you can drop the cross-pollination. And then wait for the portal to nowhere. Because at the same time... Um, you also need to wait for a lane adjacent to the opposing creature to actually open up first, and then you have to portal to nowhere them. So cross-pollination, that becomes a 12-6, and then obviously use the portal to nowhere, get the creature out of the way, and hit them with 12. Okay, next combo is my Furious combo. So I have my Furious Roosters... Obviously, then I got the green candies. You can play these super easy, super generic, zero actions, deal one damage, obviously. And then auto plucker. You should obviously play this the turn prior to when you're going to actually play the roosters on field. So you can get it readied up and you can floop it. All right. And on to the last combo. So sandwiches. When Sandwich or another creature enters play under your control, deal one damage to your opponent. Bing, bong, boom. So my plan of sandwiches is I drop a sandwich the turn prior to the combo. That's one. Then I can drop another creature. That's two. And the other creature that I drop will be the Fummy. So that's two right there. Next turn, floop the Fummy. Three actions. I can use this combo right here to interlock with this. So now I have three actions. I'm gonna drop um, my reboundings, boom. Not only am I setting up this combo, the rebounding zebra corn combo, but I'm also getting him, 
knocking, slowly knocking down his HP using the sandwiches. And that's the best way to just be super aggressive and, you know, take the fight to your opponent. All right, guys. So that has been the deck profile for my main deck. And if anything updates within the deck, then I'll probably um, make note of it in a different video. I probably won't have another profile just for uh, changing of a couple cards. But yeah, so that is basically the profile of my deck. You guys can copy it. You guys can, you know, take um, uh, influence from it. You guys can, you know, get ins inspiration from it, um, the way that I play my deck. And um, yeah. We're going to have some 1v1s coming up, me versus my little brother, and we're also going to be having a um, uh, deck profile video, which I think is actually going to go up before this one, um, my little brother's Flip Freeze deck, which is actually um, super unique. Um, it's a deck that I built that I gave to him, and he updated a little bit, so it's, you know, on his own terms. He's a... Uh, he, can, he really knows how to use the deck. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And this has been Eggy Han. Stay tuned. And make sure you guys watch the information video down below to get caught up on what's been happening in the lives of the crew. So, uh, again, see you guys another time.